Brumby, The Coalition. So Kara, thank you so much for speaking with me. You are such a breath of air when I see you on screen. Now in Chemical Hearts, this I feel is such an important and impactful movie. It is about, it's about grief and love and how do you move on and so many different things all at once. So what was it about this movie that you was like, I have to be on this, I have to sign? Well, I, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for having me. It's refreshing to talk to you, just FYI. I just want to let you know that. I'm very <laughs> grateful to be in this space with you. Also, um, uh, what do I think Chemical Hearts is all of? I think that there's so many universalities that any teenager going through whatever they're going through can grab onto. Um, whether that's coming into their identity, coming into themselves, you know, via chorus, chorus character, or La being that unapologetically black, radical, revolutionary, creative thinker, taking up space mm -hmm. and doing it without, um, without doubt, um, you know, of leaning into themselves, you know, you can grab onto that. And also the fact that La is crushing super hard and yeah. we all crush hard when we're interested in someone. And also Henry's journey of loving deeply so fast and in that sense of like it being the first and not knowing how to move through it yeah. um when the person when the other person is not ready for it and and grace's character is grieving the loss of her boyfriend and is sort of displacing a lot of feelings with henry not that they're not real i think they're absolutely yeah. real but i also think that people can easily displace their emotions and um, cope with it with other relationships. And so I feel like there's so many different things that you can walk out of watching Chemical Hearts with, but there's also the other fact of you, you are going to move through it, whatever it is. There is light at the end of the tunnel and you're gonna be more powerful on the other side. Okay. I agree completely. And as an actress, when dealing with an adaptation, when creating your character, how much do you like to put into that original work compared to how much is, you know, completely yours and what you see in the character? Um, I feel like it's about honoring the spirit of La, right? And I mm -hmm. also think that a part of casting, the beauty of casting, right? The beauty of casting directors is they find, they, put people in touch with the right people. It's like, no, this is your girl, right? So I have to trust that aspect of it. The minute that I'm cast in the film, I have to trust that I am her and she is me. And then we go from there. Um, and I also, as a theater actor, I feel like it's important to build. And in the theater world, you take about a month and sometimes you get the script ahead of time so you've been working on the script for a very long time and you keep on building and crystallizing and digging and dissecting and peeling the onion back and adding all of these nuances or thoughts about your character or the myriad responses that this person can have in this moment and then went on stage just letting it live yeah. so like there's in regards to building law and creating law and saying yes was excuse me, was a part of me saying yes to anything that I thought of about her, right? And so, and then just saying, yes, okay, she's unapologetically black, she's queer, she's revolutionary, she's born to two radical thinkers, which means that she's a radical thinker, which means that, you know, she is a, she, and which means that she, she's a creative, and then just like continuing that sort of um, expansion and like adding different things as we go along, knowing that she's just every single day she's living, breathing and experiencing something new um, brings more life to her at, you know, at every at every step of the way during the shooting process. Right. So what would you say when creating the character would be her best and worst qualities? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> So uh, I'll start with the worst qualities or weak or weak, weak or weaknesses rather, right? Uh, uh, we, I think that 
she because she's so expressive uh sometimes sometimes things don't come out the way that with her deepest intention she might not think about what she says when she says it right which is kind of a flaw you know and, or sometimes it's a it's, it's a strength but right. um at times especially in in these times of um in throughout the movie like i noticed she might have felt that she was keeping henry on his toes but henry might have felt that he that you know she wasn't supporting him you know like right. the things that you say as a friend your intentions are to like lift i and i feel like la is a great friend right. but you know i think that at times our people misinterpret especially when they're in a very vulnerable state so no oh. with your oh sorry no no go ahead go ahead with your character as well there's a lot of there's a love story there's a lot of love stories and yours in particular is so fresh to see on screen it comes across so naturally um what if you could sit down with your character what advice would you give her that's such a good question what advice would i give la i would I would probably tell La to listen more. Mm -hmm. I would tell her to observe her surroundings more. I would tell her to uh, find ways to ground herself um, because I can only imagine her being like, ah, let's go here and let's go there and let's go do this and we're gonna go do that and we're gonna go do this. And like, I see her being that revolutionary and like an HBCU and being like, I'm gonna join this organization. I think that she probably would spread herself too thin very easily because she is totally like the multifaceted, multi-talented kind of person, right? Can mm -hmm. creatively write this thing, design this thing, build this thing. It's probably like, you know, a sculptor, it's like in her past life or something. So like, you know what I mean? I just right. feel like she probably spreads herself a little too thin. Um, so I would tell her to summer down now. Right. Now, towards the end of the movie, there's a, a speech that's given that kind of explains that love and what we go through, it's all a chemical reaction. It's yes. all just chemical based. I was wondering, would you think, would you feel that La would believe that or that her feelings are actual factual and not so much based on just a reaction in chemistry? Oh, that's so, your questions are so <laughs> good. They got me thinking all kinds of differently and stuff. Okay. Um. I think that the discovery, you're talking specifically about the teenage limbo when we're all- Right, that limbo the, area. Because as we grow up, we, we, we kind of learn and we live and our re reactions are a little bit different. But when right. we're right there discovering love, it's all over the place. Yeah. Well, I think the thing that La would totally lean into are like the facts, right? So like mm -hmm. the scientific fact of that where our bodies are changing our brains are catching up to our bodies our our like everything about the person that we were is not the person that we're becoming right. so i think that in that effect i think la has leaned into those facts and probably wants to believe that it is a chemical situation that's happening in their bodies um now, in regards to La, the lover, the 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 the, the, the spiritual person, um, I think she also is so sure of herself that she understands her emotions. But but I think that she uses these um, the factuals of the si of science to yes and it and and it's also this because she's been crushing on Cora for a long time and Cora has broken her heart. And they're finally at this place, they get to the place in the movie where they are both getting to the point where they needed to get with each other. And La has been waiting for Cora to express herself. And La has been, wa uh, La has been waiting for Cora to express herself to La and, uh, 
and La is so like ready to 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 do this proper with her. So I think a yes and to your question, you know? I'll take that. Now you come from a background of theater as well. Mm-hmm. What would you say is the most important lesson that you learned in theater that you can translate into your film career? Impact. I think that it always has to be a part of a bigger picture. I think that when we're creating in a theatrical space, it is so sacred, you know, that I ha- I've been so honored to be a part of revolutionary black plays um and the impact on the conscious and the subconscious and the conversations and the and to being a catalyst of change in regards to these conversations around humanity and black humanity and the conversations around blackness and the absurdity of poverty the absurdity of poverty Mm -hmm. and being black and queer in the world being uh um having incredible black joy radical black joy um in the world i feel like that is revolutionary and i feel like it's always a part of a bigger picture or a bigger lesson and i feel like when approaching the the approaching film and television our images mean more than us like than us like our images are so um can be so, can send out a, a, a deep, deeper vibration. And so to have an unapologetically black queer character is, is a part of a bigger vibration right. of acceptance. And it has to, and I believe that theater with all of the myriad of meaning that it's always connected to to revol to revolution, you know, to the revolution of the spirit, revolution of self. But you have to connect it to the to the to a global scale, um, and the deeper universalities. It's funny because I took this voiceover class one time, and I thought it was sort of weirdly ridiculous. But I remember my teacher being like what is the universal message of this Burger King ad, right? Or like, what is the universal message of like somebody wanting to buy this thing? And so like, it's always about the impact. And I guess putting that extra vibration on it, like what's the worst that can happen? Put the extra vibration on it when approaching film and television. I think that's my personal opinion right yeah. now. I know my, I know I will evolve and I know my answers will evolve, but yeah, you made me think about all kinds of things. I love you for that. Thank you. And lastly, what have you learned about yourself by playing law? Oh man, I've learned so much about myself. I've learned so much about myself just speaking up. Mm-hmm. I've learned so much about I've learned so much about myself through Coral and through Richard, you know, um, and my power. And I feel like that's law. I feel like all of that is La. And I feel like her, you know, when life sort of become or art becomes life kind of thing, I think mm-hmm. that I've learned so much about myself that um, I take a little bit of her with me because she's everything that I wanted to be when I was a teenager, you know? Thank you so much for speaking with me. Oh my God. Dana, thank you so much. It's my auntie's name, just FYI. Oh, oh yay. Wonderful name. Yep. So thank you. Thank you.